So let's give him credit that personally he remains popular. But that's not what affects voters. And I will make a prediction. I will say that at, at this point, it is pretty clear that the Republicans are going to recapture the House. And the reason why is that the expectations have not met the reality. I don't understand why to this day politicians and CEOs always put them too high. They tell people to expect that they're going to be able to change your lives. And then when it doesn't happen, you get punished for it. Second, it's, it is about day-to-day -day life. It's not ideology. It's not politics. It's not the overarching economy. It's how I'm affected from the moment I wake up in the morning until the moment I go to sleep at night. And there are too many people in charge in politics and in corporations that aren't talking about the day-to-day -day concerns of the everyday, ordinary Americans. So, Joe, I don't think Biden was helped by it. But I don't think that the corporate community should feel good about what, what they heard yesterday. They're in for a very tough haul. Frank, question Frank. for you, which is that the truth, as we all know, is that the, the biggest problem facing this country at this specific moment economically is inflation. And it's largely a function of the Federal Reserve, possibly more than just I mean, I, I don't think there's there's anything that would compete with that. Would it have been beneficial for him to rail against the Federal Reserve, to rail against what they are doing, or to try to use his bully pulpit to force them to raise interest rates? I mean, how do you do that? And, and does the public really even understand what the Federal Reserve does? And that's the issue. The public actually does not understand it. And you've got these, these wings on the left and on the right that want to apply their ideologies to what the Fed does, to what the White House does. In the end, are meat prices going to drop from their 25 percent increase? Are you going to be able to afford a car? Are you going to be able to afford a house? It's actually not inflation that bothers people. It's affordability. It's prices. It's costs. Can I get through a supermarket and buy the things I want to buy? And Frank, Andrew, no, you're oh, totally the, right. The question is, the question is, what do you what do you want the president in this administration or, or any president to be able to do about that? when so much of that seems to be a function of what the Federal Reserve has done. And I'm trying to figure out how, if you were in that position, you would articulate a message that comes across that actually gets at that truth. OK, well, let's start with that truth. Don't make promises you cannot keep. They've not started to make uh, progress on inflation. They've not started to change the workplace environment. They've not started to change the pressures and anxieties that people feel. We did focus groups for the New York Times, and what we found is inflation came up again and again. The president but, is not educating the American people at this point. Hey, Go ahead. Hey, Frank, the, the, the only disingenuous part of that entire argument, because I heard the administration start shifting to the idea that like, the Federal Reserve is the one that does this, you know, the entire time convinced me that the administration and a lot of people in the Democratic Party, a, a lot of the senators who were out there, wanted the Federal Reserve to be even easier. I mean, I think that's part of the reason that Jay Powell didn't raise rates sooner is there was a question about whether he'd be able to get renominated because a lot of the Democratic senators wanted an even more dovish Federal Reserve um, bank chairman. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy to think, OK, it's not our fault that the Federal Reserve did this when you know that they were rooting for lower rates and, and more easy money coming from the Fed and they were spending a lot of money, too. It's how do you divorce yourself from having any responsibility over that? You can't, and you got it. You hit it right on the mark. The administration made a choice that it wanted to focus on jobs and employment and the fact that people are making more money, forgetting that inflation is a tax. And here's the greatest challenge. People are getting raises right now, significant raises, but inflation is overcoming those raises. So you're actually worse off today than you were a year ago. And that's the key question. Are off today under Joe Biden than I was under Donald Trump. And every single day, more and more Americans are saying they aren't better off, and they're going to punish the Democrats in November for that.